Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is English Woodsman. Now, if this is the first time you're seeing this video on to my channel, you need to check out the video below this one and this shows you catching the crayfish itself. Uh, what we're gonna do is, this is something new to me, to myself and you, innit? Yeah. But, if we're gonna capture this crayfish, it's only right that you can't put them back in if you find them in the UK. It's actually a legal offence to put them back in, I've just learned. So I have brought them home anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook them. Now there's two ways you can cook them and one way I'll show you in a second. And the other way you do boil them. Now I'm going to do the boiling method. We're just going to let the water boil, pop them in there for 10-15 minutes and do it that way. That's the easy way I think. They die within... 15 seconds, I think someone said on YouTube this morning. Between 10 to 15 seconds, they're already dead. Uh, if you do it the other way, I'll show you that now. I'm not going to do it this way, but it is the way what some people do do it. the more quicker way, apparently. So, what we'll do is we'll turn the camera around, we'll get the crayfish out, and then I'll show you it. Right, so what people are saying, just after it said there, is that shell lining but what they say you got to do is you got to push the knife that way in just so it cuts off all its nerves to its head and stuff like that but we're not going to do it like that we're going to uh, boil it right you add some salt and pepper to it then and i'll see what pepper other flavors we've got Now, let's not, uh, that, that one. No, put a bit of salt in it'll be alright. Okay. Not too much, that'll do. Right, so as soon as it's boiled, we'll bring you back. Right, so what I've done is I've added a little bit of butter to the water. I don't know why to be truthful. Let's put a little bit of butter in there. It's almost ready for fully boiling. Right, so it's time to put them in water, and I'm not doing this, this is my 10 years old daughter that wants to put them in water, so let her have a go at doing it. So I'll put them in gently, one at a time. Pick one, take you pick, it's up to you. Oh. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's died dead. already. Uh, oh, I don't Just come on. Now put the other one in. Let go. There we oh. go. Right, so we'll leave that for 15 minutes, I think they said. And then uh, we'll get back to you. Right, so here we are. I've, I've done it to the little one that we had, just as like a tester, see if I could do it. And it is pretty straightforward. Just got to grab the back end of the tail, twist it, and pull. And all this here, somehow you've got to break. There we go. I don't like the look of that, so I'll take that away. Mm. There's quite a bit more in the body as well. You can eat all that piece there. But what I'm more interested in, here look at that. Just tastes like crab. Right, I'll turn you on a minute and then we'll eat that piece there. So I can see why people say you do need quite a lot of uh, crayfish to make a decent snack. Because out of the big one, basically, that's all we're getting. Mmm, 
It's quite nice meat. It's quite nice actually. You can get in the claws and there's some in claws so I'll take them apart and uh, I'll bring you back for that one. If you're going to eat the claw, mate, what you got to do is pick it out. It's something you can't break up very easy. Mmm. Really nice. Just try to break this one open. It's a bit harder. There we go. Oh, look at that for a piece. Mmm. Very nice. Right, so thanks for watching. At the end of the video, <coughs> uh, I had a bit of focus problem, so I've had to cut a little bit out. Inside the bigger claw of the bigger crayfish that were really nice, that were you got quite a bit of meat, almost as much as I did in the back tail of the crayfish. It is something I'm going to try and get more. It were nice. I'm going to look at getting a license and getting a basket where you leave to soak for 12 hours so you catch more that way. But yeah. Uh, whole new experience it did feel a little bit bad putting them in the pan but overall it tastes just like a uh, crab really that's all I, all I can say it tastes like crab or crab sticks what you get from seaside or from like your local supermarkets but yeah I'm going to try it more so thanks for watching remember please do subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you later on so thanks for watching and goodbye